Ani Bojo Wachie. So today I'm going to show you something special. Going to make it interesting. So my ancestors were Ojibwe. And just like your ancestors, they were all wise. So North America is known as Turtle Island, Mekinik Menace to the Ojibwe. Because it's shaped like it. You can see this is the arm. The peak of where it is right here is the head of the snapping turtle. There's the other arm, the leg, the tail, and the other leg. As you can see, because they had a world view, and this world view is what I'm talking about here. And I suspect many other cultures too, right? Because uh, our language is an ancient language, and what I know I'm going to share, okay? So knowing that, I'm going to start my story. This is Turtle Island, and at the very base of our world is there was a wise man, and that wise man had a white beard. Some people call whiskers from, from the mouth and the language. I've heard that. But you see the old man now? You see the skull? And as we go up, the creator spoke of the guardian of the north, Shasabe, which is Sasquatch Yeti, a big, big being. You see him? And that Shasabe gave all his power to hold this north together for us because of the prayers that were given by our people. As you can see, this all people that live in this whole area, just like Eskimos, Eshki, New, Mo, New Here. New Here is what that means. Like children. The guardians take care of the children that are praying, that live in the north. You see the shadow of their spirit. As they pray to the Creator, you see the face, the lion man face, or lioness face, I should say. You see it, the nose, the mouth. Okay. That, to me, would be Kichikame. Kame means the great sea or the, the great ocean or the power of it. See, uh, where I live in Lake Superior, along Lake Superior in Wawa, the uh, Lake Superior has, it's called Kichigame, meaning the, the great ocean. And our my people, the Ojibwe people, are known as the Algonquin, and there's many v forms of us, and we've been tagged with other names, like uh, Miamis, Minomis, Mississippians, the Creeks, uh, the list goes on. But Odawa, Potawatomi, we're all part of the same same people. We stretch all the way from North America to straight to the bottom, right down to California, Florida. Okay. That's just a little scoop on, on our people and our language. You know, just a lot of people didn't realize that, you know, that's who we are. So in our, anyways, the story is that Lake Superior Gichigumi or Kichikame is, uh, it has a island and on that island it has Miju Piju, which means uh, the serpent lynx or black panther or the water panther. And this is like, just like that. It's not that it's a god, because we don't use that term in our um, terminology. In Ojibwe terminology, we use the term creator. You know, there's the there's the, the spirit and then the great spirit. And we, we're all part of that movement and that embodiment. And this Miju Bijou, Bijou is the uh, entity of water, controls all the water, can drown you or could help you it depends it's a it's a being in the real form at the same time it's a it's an energy that exists like the thunder beans or the sky very powerful being and mainly water is the symbol the power of water or the being that controls water so yeah i thought you might find that fascinating but we're still not done there yet so that's how our world view is as you can see and i'm going to spin that around here and we're going to go over to our brothers over here. Just bear with me. So there's Australia. Uh, but we're going to flip Australia around. And you're going to see the kangaroo. Right? The kangaroo. The land of the kangaroo. And then we're going to zoom back out. Okay. 
You see the face? Okay, hold on. Apologies. I'll make this easier for you all. It's hard to do two things at the same time. It's a Komodo dragon. You see the mouth, the nose, the eyes. You see how it all comes out? The claws, the tail. At the same time, it's another part of a monkey. You see the monkey's tail and all that. You see how the monkey symbol is incorporated. So you have a Komodo dragon and a monkey. And then moving along, this is, like I said, because my language is a different worldview, I can see this easy. I don't know why anybody else didn't speak about them all, but I will speak about them today. So there's the elephant in India. You see there's a bull. See the bull's horns, the great bulls of legend. So there's a bull. And off that bull is a big man. You see it's a man. You see the body of the man. You see the face of the man. Right, so there's got to be some ancient statue stuff there. And then you have like a mermaid bottom. You see that? And then you have, let's flip it a little bit more with an angle here so you can see it clearly. That's a bull's head. So you're going to see a being with a bull's head and a mermaid's body. So there's got to be some ancient something there. I bet you there is. And this all started because I was looking at uh, the astro astrology for the Ojibwe's and we have our... Martin and our otter, our fisher, and all that. And then I seen it right here. Don't you see it? See it with the tail? It, it was there. And then it carried on from there, discovering all the things that I can see. And it just made sense to me using my language and the culture. So I, I believe that we're one of the most oldest languages in the world, like the others, like you're all. And uh, it needs to be protected and preserved. And this is why I do it. So uh, help us always because we're good people. And you see here, this is the rhino. Africa is known as the rhino. But it also has a dual symbol hidden inside of it. Because it has the gentle side which shows the lamb. You see the little baby lamb with the ear going off there. Right? Don't forget about our guy here. Right? And then you see over here looks like a horse. To me, it looks like the face of a, the horse or a white horse. Because I say white because of the, the thing underneath it. It's just the, how my brain works, right? So I see the white horse. This is what's before it. And this is why I think all these old symbols existed as such, right? You know? So you see it. Look at it. It's all there. There's more. To me, this is part of the condor, the wing. The Great Condor, South America, right? You see the whole picture when you zoom out. But you have to imagine the world is a it's a different setting, right? You know? And if I go over to... You can even see the rooster in Asia. Right? There's a rooster. Watch. I'm going to... You know? It's like everything's astrology at the same time. Because in our culture, we have three worlds. Above, below, in the middle. Like the... It's like the tree of life. Aki. Amatik. Tree of Life. You see the rooster or the peacock, however you, you know, at the same time you see the seahorse. You see all kinds of uh, things when you really look at it. But this is uh, available to you to see the same. And I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Miigwech.